So we went out shooting uh, yesterday together. Dave phoned me and says, do you want to come out? I said, yeah, okay, why not? He goes, it's okay, I've got a gun. At which I was like, oh, that's perfect, because I don't. What have you got in the bag, Dave? What did you shoot yesterday? What did we shoot? We shot a bacon side by side, which I rebalanced and done some little playing with, made it a little bit longer, made it shoot a little bit, what I thought would make it shoot a bit nicer for a bacon, but turns out a bacon still a bacon whatever you do to it. Here she is, sports fans. The bacon of the weekend, the IG58. IJ58. Something, U-M. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, it's a bacon. Let's see where it shoots. Um, uh, so the premise of this video is based around that we eventually, by the end of the course, got quite good with this. And it's nothing to do with gun fit because we were looking right down this rib. We found out we have to shoot about two or so foot below stuff and to the, doesn't matter. We don't think this gun shoots where the rib points. And we both kind of concur on this. There's paper behind us. We're gonna we see what it does. We shoot it at 10 yards and then we're gonna step back, shoot it from 35 yards, see what happens. Starting with the right hand barrel. So I'm gonna shoot one cartridge that I was shooting through the, at the weekend, so the game ball velocities at the big dot in the middle of the cardboard just so it, we see where it shoots to. Well that went very very left. So let's try out the left hand barrel on the next target. We'll move on over. We'll test out the left hand barrel activated by the rear trigger on this gun. Uh, see where this one goes. A little bit high but Nothing horrendous. That would explain why on a 40 yard crossing target I was shooting four foot below it. <laughs> no, Let's have a close look. look. No, start the left hand barrel. So Dave, you were aiming right there at yeah. 10 yards. The centre pattern is 11 inches left and 5 inches high. Yeah. Cool man. That explains a fair Thanks. bit. It explains all your first shots. Let's go look at your, yeah. your left Let's hand barrel. Let's have a look at the left. So this one is a touch left, but mostly sort of seven inches high. We'll forgive the leftness. And is ovular. But that's ovular. Anyway, yeah. but you did say, and this is interesting, you did say, I'm shoot, gonna shoot my left barrel first for the back half of the course because you trusted it more. Yeah. And you, so you're probably right there. Let's go shoot these at 30 meters yeah. and draw some conclusions. So another little point I'd like to add about this gun, halfway through the round, so it probably put about 50 cartridges, we're sharing the gun, one of the ejectors broke, just stopped working altogether. Um, another great, great add-on to a bacon. We outlined the patterns just so we know where the last two shots have gone on them. Uh, we're back at 30 yards now. Still gonna use game ball velocities. You know, shoot the dots again, exactly the same. See where it goes at a bit further distance. Oh, and great. Huh, it ejected, it ejected eventually. Let's go on over, shoot the left hand barrel. So if we look at yeah. the new, so this is our old pattern here, our little oval. And if we look at our new pattern, which kind of comes around here, A, it just catches our target in it, but I say catches by about nine inches. Just, just. But most importantly, it's probably worth bearing in mind that this, this is four foot across. That pattern is probably a six and a half, seven foot pattern. Yeah. At 35 meters. And we are just inside. Yeah. Just. Just. That's like we're cutting the ten, edge 10%. I feel better. Let's look at the other one. <laughs> you missed, mate. Yeah, got a few. Oh no, there's one bit of one bit of shot right there. Right there. Yeah. So this. Uh, 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 and, and maybe these two too. A couple of floaters on the edge. A couple of floaters. Hold on. Let's do a similar sort of. I mean, it's probably more like a four foot pattern, and, and I, I'm comfortable to say that you hit it with one bit of shot. 
That's all it needs to break a clay. One bit. <laughs> right, 25 chips is better than 24 smokes. It's not justifying it, mate. That's horrific. Does that mean the barrels don't point in the same way? Yeah, I'm going with that. We've basically concluded this gun isn't for everyone. Uh, uh, I think when I say everyone, it's definitely for not for me. I think we both agree it's the worst gun we have ever shot. We've shot some bad stuff. And all. we have shot some bad stuff that we, to be fair, liked. we liked. <laughs> but that is, is level another level, level mate. Yeah. What gun, A, doesn't shoot where you, the gut it points, and B, shoots in completely different places? Yeah, that is a no-hope gun. Yeah. I'm not trying to upset the Russians here. Um, being a Salisbury boy. Yeah. Uh, but just put a bit more effort into it, guys, please. I know you make your really nice one, but try and make your other stuff nice as well. Fit with that technology down. And that's yeah. why that bacon is the worst gun in the world. Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop.